So I got a nice little catch can from Callen, member on DSM Tuners, other known as uh, Craig. I got a catch can from him, um, and I, I want to install those uh, two 8 a.m. fittings here, so I got to pull the valve cover to do that. Before you take the valve cover all the way off, kind of want to pop the PCB valve loose. All right, now that we've got the valve cover off, we're going to take and we're going to remove these gaskets uh, so that I can get ready to drill the holes that I'm going to need to put the, uh, my two AN fittings in. All right, now we got those all taped up. I'll give you a good view of that. Those are all taped up. You cover those holes so that you don't get anything in there. We're going to take a uh, wire brush and go over all of this. We want to try to get out all of the RTV. So I've already drilled the smallest pilot hole as you can see and I started with the larger one. Um, I use uh, just you know different size drill bits, smallest to larger and larger. It's got to go all the way to 5 eighths. And I add a little grease there on the end of the bit to try to help catch shavings. And every time I go through I just use the vacuum and uh, try to vacuum out whatever's left inside. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we have drilled the holes out uh, in the valve cover. Um, I got them drilled out. Uh, once I got them drilled out um, to the largest size, um, I took and cleaned them up with a Dremel tool. I took this Dremel tool here and uh, I actually ran it around the inside. It wasn't what I wanted to do because I knew I would get a lot of shavings on the inside. Um, then I took, a, uh, you know, I took a flat file. I cut the ends off of these uh, 8 a.m. fittings. I took the ends off, and then um, I, I shaved these edges down so it would have a flat edge. Same with that one there, and then these now fit uh, right here inside the valve cover. And if you'll notice, we had to uh, grind this actual lip here had to be grinded down. No matter where we cut the holes, it had to be grinded a lot on that side because this hole was off center and uh, just a smidgen on that side and then this one is, is getting a treatment now um, a little bit on each side because this hole happened to be dead center okay so I got both the holes drilled here um, and, and what happened was it got shavings on the inside, as you've seen earlier. Um, so I went to the store, picked up uh, some distilled water, picked it up at Walmart. It's very, very cheap. Notice the word distilled in purple there. Um, it's very important because the water that comes out of your faucet has, has certain things in it that will cause rust and distilled water. Uh, we'll prevent against that somewhat. So put uh, I, I'm going to run distilled water through here, through both these holes, pour it in, and then do the same um on the underside here, pour it in, you know, the little baffles on this side to fill it up, shake it around, and then do it to the one on this side, shake it up, and uh, pour it out. And then once I get done doing that, um, you know, to try to get rid of the shavings that may be still in there, um, I'm also going to use some brake cleaner. After you use the water inside these holes, I blow them out with uh, the air compressor, with the air tool, take a little piece of hose, and uh, take a little piece of vacuum hose put it on the end here and then you know that'll give you the extra reach down inside you can blow all that out really well and then use your brake use your brake cleaner to get any uh 
any other dirty stuff out, oil that may be left in there that's holding shavings, you know, anything. I'm, I'm just taking all precautions to clean it out. I need a way to uh, mount this catch can here um, into uh, the engine bay. So I went and picked up a piece of stock aluminum. I oh, actually had it sitting around some stock aluminum and we're going to make two brackets out of this. Alright, well, lost battery fire, but anyway, you see that I got I got two brackets here um, that I've, I've bent, um, but just take and, and clean up these edges so there's no sharp edges after we cut it with that cutoff wheel. Alright, so the can, I plan on it sitting uh, sitting right down in here, uh, right, you know, and, and one bracket, is gonna, this small one, the shorter one, uh, length, is going to go on the back and it's going to get mounted to this bolt hole, and then this longer one is going to get bolted to, the, or is going to get welded to the side, and it's actually going to go on this bolt hole right here. So it, it'll end up mounting something like this and uh, sitting in the car. So using some scotch tape, I uh, I just eyeballed where these brackets look like they'll fit, um, you know, and, and we got to make sure that this leaves enough gap in between here so that if it flexes, it won't run into my can. Uh, we got to make sure, you know, we got enough room for for our drain valve to work properly here and make sure, you know, that you just have clearance everywhere. I mocked up my catch can inside and I had to have a, uh, somewhere to weld this bung on um, for my catch can setup so that I have a place to suck vacuum through. And uh, with this on the car, um, we've mocked it up to where this will sit uh, fairly flat uh, on this right here. And then uh, you have a 45 degree fitting uh, that's going to go on there and it feeds right around the lower intercooler pipe and it works really well. So. I uh, made a little mark here, and what you're going to need for this job is uh, one punch, a uh, step bit. You're also going to need a drill, and then you're going to need uh, your bung so you can know what size to go to. Uh, I picked this one up at a local speed shop, and uh, we need to drill this hole in this uh, intake pipe. 